Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome to Croco Blog channel. If you've ever wondered how to set different menus or headers per page, this video is just for you. And along with the Croco Blog Jet plugins, it will be nothing but a piece of cake. In this tutorial, we will create mega menus and headers with the help of Jet Menu and Jet Blocks plugins. And then take a look at the settings and find out how to set different headers to different pages. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications as we upload tutorials on a regular basis. And now, let's get to it! Before we start creating our menus and headers, go to Crocoblock dashboard. Today we'll be working with Jet Theme Core, Jet Blocks and Jet Menu plugins, so make sure you have them installed. And if you need a detailed plugin overview, you can go to settings and find our YouTube videos there. If you already know how to create a header, skip this part and follow our timestamps in the description box below. To add a header to your website, go to Crocoblock Theme Builder. As we're going to create a couple of headers, we need to create different templates for them. Let's click on Add New, select header as a template type and name it. First off, let's begin with the menu. I'm adding a section. As for the layout, I'm choosing content with boxed and setting it to 1400. Minimum height is optional, but I'm gonna set it to 55 pixels. Next step, let's go to the Elements panel and search for Mega Menu Widget. There are two available widgets and for now I want to use just a simple Mega Menu. Stay tuned and a bit later I'll show you how to use Vertical Mega Menu. So once you drag the widget, you'll see Content, Style and Advanced tabs on the left sidebar. Under the Content, Unfold, General and here we can select a menu. I'm gonna click on Menus screen or you can simply go back to the WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Menus. Now select the menu that you want to work with or let's create a new one. Find the display location and assign this menu to enable Jet Menu settings. Depending on what type of website you have, add the items to your menu. This can be either a page or a custom link, category or in my case it will be product categories. Select as many items as you need and click Add to Menu. The best way to show you how it works is to add some sub-items. It's very simple, just drag one menu item onto the other one. Once you save it, it will show up in the list of available menus in the Elementor editor. I'm gonna delete this menu and open the one that I've already created. As you can see, I have a couple of product categories and subcategories as well. I'm gonna go back to the Elementor editor and select this menu for both desktop and mobile versions. Choose the device view and change the settings for the mobile layout if needed. As for the style tab, set menu items alignment onto the desktop container. Add a background color, then choose border type and box shadow. Set minimum width to 0 to automatic width detection. Let's move on to Desktop Item Settings. I'm styling the text in the Typography Settings and setting the colors for Normal, Over and Active states. Leave Item Maximum Width empty to Automatic Width Detection. Desktop Submenu is for the menu sub-items. Let's adjust the width for the simple panel as we're working with the simple menu for now. Add top margin if you want to adjust the place where the submenu will drop down. Scroll down a bit and change the font and color of the submenu items. So my header is almost empty except for the menu. Don't worry, we'll add more items to it a bit later in this tutorial. Now, how to set this particular header to a certain location or page? Go to the header settings in the bottom left corner. Here you can change the status of the header and set conditions where it will be shown. Entire website, singular or archive. I'm gonna choose entire site. 
Ok, that's my front page and the header with the menu that I just created. What's special about JetMenu plugin is that it allows to add any content type to Mega Menu. Let's try this out. Create a new menu or select the one that you already have. That's my second menu and I think you noticed that I have no sub items. As we're going to create something like this, we need to create a couple more menus. For every product category, I created different menus. So my sale category has two sale submenus. Let's choose the menu item and click on Jet Menu button. These are the settings where you'll be able to enable or disable Mega Menu, edit the content, add icon, badge, etc. First of all, let's enable it and then edit Mega Menu item content. I'm gonna add a menu to a menu. It sounds confusing, I know, however, you'll see why and how. I added a section with three columns. Now let's search for Vertical Mega Menu and drag the widget to the first column. In the Content tab on the left sidebar, select the menu that you want to insert. And now I'm going to add one of those two separate menus that I showed before. In the Style tab under the Main Menu settings, you can adjust the width and we can move on to the Main Menu items. Firstly, let's set a white color for the background and choose a dark gray color for the text. After changing the font family and size of the text, let's add one more thing. Click on Hover and select Underline for a decoration. Lastly, I'm adding left margin in the Advanced tab and now let's copy the widget and paste it to the second column. I'm selecting a different menu, adding the left border for the first column. Don't forget to update. So we've added a mega menu item content and now let's take a closer look at the main settings. As for the mega menu position, you can choose default or a relative the menu item and set a custom mega menu width. Item icon allows you to add any icon, upload your own SVG file or select one from the library. To show you how it works, I'm gonna add a fire icon to my sale category. Set a color, icon size, and that's it. Item badge is to add any text badge to the menu items. And lastly, there are advanced and vertical menu width where you can customize its position and size. Let's save it, then save menu. And finally, we can check what we just created. All right, our mega menu is styled but there is one more option of how you can customize it. Let's go back to Crocoblock dashboard and open Jet Menu Settings. In the desktop menu, you'll find a bunch of settings, but we need specifically Mega Menu Width. In my case, it is set to Width, same as Custom CSS Selector Width. But once you select other options, you'll get different width results. To make your Mega Menu base full width, just select the last option and insert element or section wrap in the selector field below. Great. Now let me show you how to add different content type to your Mega Menu. If you have something that you want to showcase, like let's say products, you can add products grid widget, select the preset that you like, enable carousel and style it. Another option is to add something like map, video, and basically any template using our magic button from Jetheme Core plugin or the template that you created and saved to your library. If you have a blog on your website, you can add posts widget. And yep, it takes time to create a mega menu. However, look at the result. To me, it is worth every minute that I spent creating and styling all of my mega menu items using Jetmenu plugin. Since we're done with the menu, it's time to add more elements to our header using JetBlocks widgets. Let's edit our header. I'm adding a section and placing it above the menu. You can fill the background with any color or leave it empty. Once we've added a couple of columns, we can start adding the widget. 
Of course it depends, but usually the header contains such elements as a logo, maybe a search, card widget and authorization links. Jetblocks will definitely help us with it. Let's start with the logo. Search for the site logo widget and drag it to the place where you want to locate it. Select image as a logo type and add logo and retina logo images. Adjust the size of the columns. Now let's add a search widget. Under the general settings you can change the placeholder text, show or hide submit button, add a button label and set a different icon. As for the style, I want to make it simple. After I change the font, I set colors for the background and text as well. Under Submit button settings, let's adjust the icon size and set a transparent color for the background. Scroll down to Form Style settings, add a border and set its width to 0 except for the bottom. It will add a nice bottom line to your search form. Lastly, set the column vertical align to middle. Jetblocks plugin has one perfect widget for online stores, WooCommerce shopping cart. Let's search for it in the Elements panel. I'm deleting the label and uploading an SVG file for the icon. Under the Card Link settings, select the colors and if you scroll down a bit, you'll be able to change the color and count font size. To place the count right to the top right corner of the cart, I'm gonna add minus 22 for the top margin and minus 12 for the left. And by the way, you can always adjust the size of the column just by stretching it. Lastly, I'm adding the authorization links widget. I used SVG files for the icon and set colors for the hover and active states. Once you finish styling the header, click update. Let's check it out now. So now you know how to create a header and make it visible on all of your pages. But what if you want to set different headers to different pages? How to arrange that? Go back to Crocoblock dashboard, theme builder. Let's create a new header. I'm gonna copy the header that I created before, but this time I'm gonna select a different menu from the list and add one of the Jetblocks widgets, breadcrumbs. So once it's styled, I'll go to the header settings and in the conditions, select entire site for this header and then change the conditions to singular and front page for my main header. Let's take a look. So that's the main header that I created in the first part of this tutorial. And once you navigate to some different page, for example, one of the product categories page, you'll see a slightly different header with a different menu. All right, and here is one more option for you. You can create as many headers as you want and assign them to many different pages. For example, I have a separate login or register page, but I wanted to have a different header. I'm gonna create a new one, copy the top part from the main header, and instead of the regular menu, let's add a hamburger menu this time. You can use one of the existing menus or repeating the steps from the first part of this tutorial Create a different mega menu like I did, since the layout of the hamburger menu items is different. So I selected the menu, changed the position of the container and then styled it. Final step, I'm gonna set this header again to singular, then choose page and type the name of my login or register page. And that's our third header with a third different menu. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below. And if you want us to make more useful videos for you, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.